about a Bridgerton floral arrangement. Welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're gonna make a beautiful floral arrangement. So I already have the beautiful flowers that we're gonna be using in this arrangement. Now, let's go and get everything prepped up. what I want to do now I have my tulips here now typically I will go in and I'll spray my tulips down and I kind of just leave them like right in this basket and tilt it back a little bit or you can kind of just take them out one by one um, so let's go ahead and start prepping these now when I pull my tulips for arrangement I do keep the bulb attached and the reason why I do that is so I can have a longer stem so for example when I was pulling these out, some of the tulip bulbs was detaching from the stem, and that's perfectly fine. It's not uncommon to see that. I am going to go ahead and wash these off by the bunches. That's all I'm doing. Then I come in and I go ahead and I snip off the bulb. I do pull back any of the foliage that's going to end up being in the water. And so this is what I'm left with. But as you all can see, there is a little bit of dirt still attached. So I just spray it off again. I'm doing this arrangement on the fly but typically what I would do is once I get my tulips prepped like this was I would cut the bulb off and then I would go ahead and wrap them in paper pre soak them for an hour but part of my design you know just to give all of the Bridgerton vibes and just be a beautiful floral arrangement and just give and we do want this to cascade over 
Now, your tulips will continue to grow when they're in the vase. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these prepped up. chose my vessel I wanted to go with something antique I wanted to bring all of the Bridgerton vibes you guys I wanted it to be very antique and just really just make you fall in love with it I was working with the stems yesterday you can see where the stems were kind of like starting to snake off so in order to mitigate that what we did is we went in and we wrapped them very tight so now our longer stems here will now be able to stand up in the vase. Can you guys see that here? Now, we do have a droop, but this is the natural habit. This is one of, like, the lady series, and they have that natural um, where you see them. They flow in, but it's part of the design, you guys. So let's get to arranging. So now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to use my chicken wire as I always do. more I'm very serious about the quality of my work so 
So the assignment was to do a floor arrangement that give the vibes just like how the Bridgertons live. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a floor arrangement that literally had a lot of draping, a lot of color, a lot of monotones, but actually came in and played off of the other color. So we have our different shades of purple. So we have our different plays off purple. Here I've went in and I've used a purple, more of a soft lavender purple, but then you can see those pink tones coming through. So then I came in with a pink tulip here and it gives us those double vibes. So it comes in and it acts as two folds. It acts to chop up the purple, but then it also acts as texture and gives us that different variety, that different feel. You guys are still watching the video right now. What I want you to do is I want you to go down in the comments and I want you to put Bridgerton flower arrangement. Hint, hint, and wink, wink. You never know what's gonna come of it. So, I also wanna take the time out to thank you guys for all of your continued support. You guys, I just so appreciate the beautiful comments that you guys leave behind. I appreciate the beautiful DM messages that I get over on my Instagram page at the underscore garden queen. You guys, I am just so blessed to have you guys on this journey with me. And I'm telling you, I mean, words cannot express just how grateful I am to have you guys with me. And if you guys are new to the channel, we put out content like this at least once a week. If you guys have been rocking with me from the beginning, or you just now started following me, or if this is your first time over here on Garden Queen watching one of my videos, subscribe. And if you guys, you know, keep coming back to my videos and you're not subscribed, it must be something. Go ahead, hit that subscription button. It's absolutely free. I'm gonna go ahead and get this floor arrangement off to the beautiful person that it's gonna be going to. And I'm sure they're gonna love these Bridgerton vibes that we brought with this flower arrangement. Let me know what you think about it down in the comment box. I would love to hear it. Talk about a Bridgerton floral arrangement. The only thing we need now is a beautiful table arrangement, our tea, finger sandwiches, and some scones. Our good, good girlfriends, or good, good guy friends, and or both. And the rest is history from there. It's a wrap.